Hello, church. So, so glad you're with me again. It's Pastor Matt over at the Hollister campus. And uh, I've been talking to you about context. And one of the things that I wanted to bring up today is the context of worship. And I'm going to use a reference from the Old Testament. And um, it's, it's an interesting verse. I quote it regularly. It's goofy. And uh, I love the goofy verses, truthfully. And I think that uh, there anybody that tries to take uh, those out or reword them so that they're, um, you know, a little less odd. Uh, don't do that. No, 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 no. Just leave them like that. Um, and that's another discussion for another day. But uh, let me go ahead and read the verse first. It comes out of Psalm 50. I'll read uh, verses 7, 8, and just a little bit of uh, verse 9. And uh, then we'll get a chance to talk about um, wor worship in the Old Testament. Listen for the word of God. Hear, O my people, and I will speak. O Israel, I will testify against you. I am God, your God. I do not reprove you for your sacrifices. Your burnt offerings are continually before me. I will accept no bull from your house. Okay, so I spent a lot of years in junior high ministry. And the verse that uh, has always stuck out to me in this version, it's, uh, verse 9, and just the beginning of it, it, says, I will accept no bull from your house. And the junior hires would just crack up about uh, me telling a story straight from the Bible, saying that I will accept no bull from your house. And they didn't really understand the full context of it. But part of the worship experience of the Old Testament was sacrifice. Those sacrifices were important to the Old Covenant. It was how the people made themselves right to be in relationship with God. I'm so thankful that we don't live under the old co covenant. They knew that they would never be able to equal the holiness that God was always calling them to. So God made a way. It needed the old covenant for us to understand. It needed the sacrificial covenant so that we could understand how to be in relationship with him. And then ultimately he provides the ultimate sacrifice, who is Jesus Christ. But I did want to talk for a moment about this idea of I will accept no bull from your house. I won't take much more time today other than to say, how's your worship going? On Sunday mornings, are you giving the appropriate time and space and energy to worship the living God? And have you set aside a Sabbath even maybe on that day? Now I'm a pastor. I, I find that Sunday Sabbath doesn't really work for me. I try to find Sabbath on my Fridays and my day off, but wherever you are, you need to make sure that you're bringing what you need to appropriately to God in worship. I know we don't live under the old covenant anymore, but Jesus said, I did not come to abolish the law or the prophets. I came to fulfill them, which he does so amazingly. There's something about coming prepared to worship, whether we're worshiping as one body in one building or if we're worshiping as one body in many buildings. Bring your appropriate worship by preparation, showing up, making a plan, and worshiping the true living God in an honorable fashion. Um, if you haven't been giving God your appropriate worship regularly, we understand it's been a tough season. To not be able to attend your local church. If you're in Gilroy, we get it. Uh, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't. Give God your worship. I might add, give him a portion of it each day. Maybe even the first portion of each day in worship as an appropriate sacrifice. And then give him one day a week as an appropriate sacrifice. God bless you guys. Thanks for hanging with us. I'm going to pray us out and uh, uh, we'll catch you next week. Uh, Father in heaven, thank you for those who have been so faithful to want to connect with the local church through these devotionals, through our <clears throat> Wednesday worships and Friday fellowship with families, our Theology Thursdays, all the bits and pieces that we've worked so hard to bring together. Lord, thank you for those who are staying connected in this way. And Lord, I do pray that my worship and all of our worship would be acceptable to you in your sight, our rock, our redeemer. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.
God bless you guys. Go in peace.